Today I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to bar modelling. Bar modelling is where you use pictures or bars to represent calculations and word problems. So why do we use bar modelling? Well, sometimes in maths, calculations and word problems are difficult to visualise or imagine in your head. Bar models help you to see the maths more clearly. And once you become more confident in using bar models, you can use them to help your learning in many areas of maths. So here's our simple bar model. It looks a little bit like an equal sign. We use equal or known amounts to compare. So if the top bar is 10, then we know that the bottom bar must also be 10, as it is the same size. So what addition and subtraction calculations could this picture represent? Well, we've got the two bars. The top one is the whole amount, there's 10, and it's made up of two parts. This can sometimes be uh, represented as a whole, 10, with two parts, 3 and 7, although that's not called a bar model, obviously. So the green part plus the red part will give you your whole, 3 plus 7 equals 10. Or you can swap those the other way around, red part plus the green part equals um, 10, part plus part equals whole. Or you might only have the whole number and one of the parts, and in that case you'll need to do a takeaway. The whole blue takeaway, either the green or the red, will leave the opposite um, part. We've always got to look for the missing part. To solve a problem, you just need to know two of the three numbers. So looking at the first one, we've got two parts, so we have to add the two parts to find out our whole, and we can see from um, the five add five, that, that will equal 10. Or we've got two parts in the next one. We have 120 over here, and we've got 36 over here. For well, that one, we'll need to do a takeaway calculation. So I can't do that in my head, so I need to write down 120 take away 36 and work it out in that way. So your turn. Write down uh, two addition and two subtraction calculations based on this model. Could you press pause and do that for me now? Um, and when you're ready, you can move on. So you, we can also use bar models, or the main area we use bar models is to solve problems. So looking at this problem, can you think of how a bar, what, uh, what bar model you could use to solve this problem? Again, when you've read through it, pause, draw your bar model, and then we talk through it afterwards. Redham House has 284 pupils. So there is an important number. I need to think, is that my whole number or is it a part? 218 of the children have pizza for lunch, another number there, and the rest have hot dogs. How many children have hot dogs? Press pause and have a go yourself. So here is the bar model that I ended up we need to lay with we need to label our bar model so that we can understand it so there were 284 pupils in total that gives us our whole number 218 of them had pizza and that leaves our question mark over here to find out how many had hot dogs Now, because we've got a whole number over here and a one part, we know that it's going to be a takeaway calculation. So 284 take away 218. Four take away eight, I can't do that. 
So I'll need to go to um, and regroup my tens. 14 take away 8 is 6. 7 take away 1 is 6. And 2 take away 2 is 0. So I now know that 66 pupils had hot dogs for lunch. Now, your turn. Jenny went on a shopping spree with her birthday money. She spent £297 on clothes and £95 on a new computer game. How much did she spend in total? Uh, remember, you need to draw your two rectangles showing your part, part, whole. You need to write the numbers down that you know and label them. Do you know the whole number already? Or do you know any of the parts? What calculation are you going to do, add or take away? Press pause, draw your model, and um, when you're ready, uh, Try the next one. So, this is what I drew. It says, Jenny went on a shopping spree with her birthday money. She spent £297 on clothes and 95 on a new computer game. How much did she spend in total? So we don't know the whole number our question mark will be there. We know that she spent 297 on clothes and 95, I should have drawn that one smaller, on a computer game. To find my whole, if I've got two parts, I need to add. Again, once you've read the problem, press pause and have a go yourself. And once you've uh, had your go, then have a look and see what I've done. A lorry driver was on a 532 mile journey. He stopped after 118 miles for a break. How many miles does he still have left to travel? So, if I squeeze mine in here, Okay, I know that he was on a 532 mile journey. So that would give me my whole number over here. Then we know that he has traveled, already traveled, 118. So I need to find out how much he still has to travel. So I'll do a takeaway calculation, 532 take away 118. Can't do the first one, so I regroup my tens. 12 take away eight is four. Two take away one is one, and five take away one is four. So here's an opportunity for those of you who are feeling confident, or for those of you who are just interested in stretching your minds. Using your knowledge of bar models, make up a problem to go with this one. I look forward to reading them. So as a quick summary, when doing bar models, we need to draw your rectangles to show part, part, whole. You can draw them as we've been doing in this video or sometimes in your maths book, it is, they also do a bracket like this with the whole number written over here. Uh, same idea, they just haven't drawn the two um, bars. One is rather just written as a bra in the brackets. Once you um, have drawn your two bars, write the numbers down that you know and label them. Do you know the whole or the total number? Do you know any of the parts? And after that, think about which calculation you are going to do.